Mrs. Beard is Weird, Chapter 5, Elementary Idol. Mr. Klutz sent us to lunch so the teachers could get ready. When we got back to the all-purpose room, the stage was decorated with lots of lights and a big sign. Elementary Idol! Miss Beard came out on stage, followed by the musketeers and the hot dog heads. We all yelled and screamed. But we quieted down when Mr. Klutz made a peace sign, which meant shut up. Welcome to Elementary Idol, said Miss Beard. Today we're going to see how well these 12 teachers can sing. Sadly, one of them will be eliminated. Aww. Each of the teachers will sing a song, said Miss Beard, and then we'll open up the phone lines to viewers, and they can vote for their favorite. The teacher who gets the fewest votes will be eliminated. Is everyone excited? Yeah, we all screamed. Now let's meet our judges, said Miss Beard. She picked up a jar filled with slips of paper, and she shook it up and then picked out three of them. Our judges will be Ryan, Andrea, and AJ. Come on down. That's me, Andrea Sheik, shrieked, jumping up and down. We went running up on the stage and sat at the table there. May I ask a question, said Andrea? What does singing have to do with education? I'm glad you asked that question, Andrea, said Miss Beard. Each teacher is going to sing a song about the thing they teach. Let's start with your art teacher, Miss Hannah. Everybody cheered when Miss Hannah went over to the microphone with a guitar. In art, she said, sometimes we use tools to build sculptures, so I'd like to sing a song called If I Had a Hammer. Ugh, I knew that song. It's about a guy who wants a hammer. He sings that if he had a hammer, he would hammer a bunch of small stuff over the world. If that's not dumb, I don't know what is. Miss Hannah sang the hammer song, and when she was done, everybody clapped. Now let's see what our judges think. Said Miss Beard. Andrea, did you like Miss Hannah's song? I thought it was lovely, said Andrea. I give Miss Yonkers a 10. Andrea held up a ping pong paddle with a 10 on it, and everyone cheered. A perfect score, said Miss Beard. AJ, how do you rate Miss Hannah? I give her a three, I said, holding up my paddle. That song makes no sense at all. If she wants a hammer so bad, why doesn't she go to a hardware store and buy one? Hammers don't cost that much. The song isn't about hammers. Dumb head, Andrea said, rolling her eyes. It's about peace. What do you think, Ryan? asked Miss Burr. Beard. I give Miss Hannah a six, said Ryan. She said that if she had a hammer, she would hammer in the morning, but I don't think she should hammer in the evening, too. In the dark, she might hammer her thumb and hurt herself. Good point, Ryan, said Miss Beard. Yeah, and hammering in the evening will disturb the neighbors, I added. People are trying to sleep at night. They don't want to hear a bunch of hammering. Well said, said Miss Beard. That's 19 points for Miss Hannah. Everybody cheered. After that, Miss Holly, our Spanish teacher, sang a song called La Bamba. Mr. Docker, our science teacher, sang a song about, called She Blinded Me With Science. Miss Rupi, our librarian, sang a song about the Dewey Decimal System. Miss Laney, our speech teacher, sang a song about the rain in Spain falling mainly on the plain. It made no sense at all. Who cares where it rains? Mr. Loring, our music teacher, sang a song called Brown Sugar. That was weird. Why would anyone make a song about sugar? After that, our computer teacher, Mrs. Yonkers, I'd like to sing a song about pork sausages, she said. I borrowed the tune from Home on the Range. It goes like this. Oh, give me some pork with a knife and a fork and potatoes that have been french fried. It makes a great lunch and I'll eat a whole bunch with a plate full of beans on the side. Porky's pork sausages, I'd rather eat them than play. And when I am done, I'll take one on a bun to bring home and eat the next day. What do you think, judges? asked Miss Beard. That was wonderful, said Andrea, who thinks everything grown-ups do is wonderful. I give it a 10. That was terrible, I said. Deaf people all over the world are grateful right now that they don't have to hear that. What did that have to do with computers, asked Ryan. After the 12th teacher had sung a song, the phone lines were opened up, and people all over America had the chance to vote for their favorite. We had to wait a long time while the votes were being counted. Finally, Miss Beard came out to announce the results. The people have spoken, she said. Eleven of our teachers will move on to the next round, but one of you must leave. But before I say who the teacher is, tell me, AJ, what do you think of pork sausages? I give them a ten, I said, holding up my paddle. I love them. You hear it here, for, folks, said Miss Beard. The judges agree that pork sausages are great, and now it's time to reveal which of our teachers got the least votes and will have to leave? That teacher is Mrs. Rupi. Oh, Miss Rupi walked off stage, her head hanging. One teacher eliminated, 10 to go.